Hello everybody, today we're doing a video for GTA Car Kits in a 2015 Range Rover Sport and today we're going to show you how to install our Apple CarPlay on Android Auto Module. As you can see it's already installed in this car and it's paired to our iPhone wirelessly. You can control the interface by touchscreen. You can also easily switch back to the original system so you will not lose any functionality. You will still be able to use your original reverse camera. And now we're going to go ahead and show you how to install it. So the tools that you're going to need is a T20 Torx a panel removal tool and a 8mm socket with an extension. So we're going to start on the passenger side with our panel removal tool. We're going to open the glove box and underneath here we're going to get inside with our tool and fingers. So you're going to use the tool to give you some space so you can get underneath with your fingers like I just did. And you're going to unclip the panel and then you will work your way down towards the driver. So when you flip this over you're going to see so these are the initial clips that I've unclipped and then the other ones are right here and we, then we went across and then there's two more on, right towards the driver. So now we're at the back and we're going to remove these plastic pieces. So first we're going to remove this uh, rubber mat so you're going to lift it up and then pull it towards you. Then you're going to see here two 8 millimeter bolts. We're going to go ahead and remove them. Now you will take your panel removal tool and get behind this panel and then use your fingers to remove it. Here you go and you can just rest it like that. Then you're going to use your hands and pull this uh, silver trim piece up and we will just leave it like that. We're doing this in order to remove the two side panels that go all the way up to the radio and over here in the corners this panels gets blocked by whatever we just removed. So now we're going to open our armrest area and then we're going to use our again our panel removal tool to get underneath this silver trim piece and when it's lifted up then you can use your fingers and then you're going to go towards uh, the radio. Now we will do the same thing on the driver's side. We will get with our panel underneath here and then again work our way up towards the radio. So we're first going to remove this um, metal bracket around the screen and you're going to use your T20. So there's two bolts on each side. There's two here and two closer to the driver. And now this metal bracket can be removed. So now we're going to remove the buttons which are on the side of the screen. And there's two bolts on each side holding those buttons and we're going to go ahead and remove them. So now you're just going to take these buttons and at the back there's a clip that you got to press to disconnect them. Same on the other side. So now we're going to remove the bolts that hold the screen. So there's two on each side again and again they're the T20. So now we're going to remove the control panel for your HVAC underneath the screen. So there's two 8mm bolts on each side, which we're going to go ahead and remove. So now you can grab on this panel and pull it towards yourself. At the back here, there's a connection that has a clip at the bottom, which you will clip. You can put this panel away. So now we're going to use again our T20 Torx to remove these two bolts that hold the actual radio. So there's one here and one over here. So now we'll show you what comes in the kit. So you get this uh, main module which we're going to hide behind uh, this uh, stereo here. Then you get a USB cable which we're going to wire into the glove box. Then there's a video cable that gets uh, connected at the back of the LCD screen and then there's the main harness that connects to the back of the screen and the actual radio and then it will connect to our main module and we're also gonna hide a uh, Wi-Fi antenna so you can do wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. So now we're gonna remove the radio and we suggest to put a microfiber cloth underneath it so this metal doesn't scratch your uh, center console. So you're just gonna grab it and pull it towards yourself. You will see here that we're gonna be connecting to this main 
a big gray connection so you can just press on the clip and disconnect it already next we're gonna take out the LCD screen and at the back here we're gonna be connecting to this gray connection so you can disconnect it and then this uh, blue connection you can disconnect and after everything is completed this original connection will just be left hanging just something to note so we're gonna take our harness which has this Y splitter so we're gonna connect our harness inside the back of the stereo and then we'll take the original connection and plug it in into our harness then we're gonna take our video cable that comes with our kit and it will have the exact same blue connection that you removed uh, earlier and we'll just plug it in and this is the other end of our harness it also has this uh, Y splitter so we're gonna take the original connection that we, we unplugged earlier and we're gonna plug it in and then we'll take our side of the harness and plug it in to the back of the stereo so this is uh, the end of the harness that will go to the module and then we also will connect our video cable which we showed you earlier we'll go here so now the only two parts remaining to connect to our module is a uh, USB cable which will run into inside the glove box and then there's the GPS antenna which will connect to the Wi-Fi port here so first we're gonna feed this uh, USB cable uh, towards the back of the stereo so you're gonna open the glove box and make sure that it's all the way down and over here on the side there's an opening which you will Put the wire through and then catch it at the back of the stereo put it inside that hole and then with our other hand grab it on the inside just like that so we're going to take this cable and plug it into the usb mark slot on our module so we're going to take our wi-fi antenna and we suggest to mount it uh, right here above these harnesses in that area and then you can also undo the 3m uh, double-sided tape and stick it on here and then once you do that you're gonna take the other end and plug it into our module so at this point you can hide the module and we suggest uh, there's if you move everything to the sides there is a plenty of space right here now oh, and our module fits in there perfectly so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna hide our module and then you will also make sure that the harnesses are not in the way and go into the openings there so you can put everything back so now we can put the LCD screen back same with this radio so you're gonna again maneuver these harnesses around there's enough space for our radio to go back in so at this point we're just gonna lightly assemble the car before putting in these these bolts so we're gonna connect these buttons and just put them here because we want to test that the carplay is working before we secure everything back and then we'll also put in this panel underneath I'm just gonna plug it in put it here and that's good enough uh, for testing so we're just gonna put on the ignition as you can see the buttons light up so the main thing you're gonna set the uh, source of sound as auxiliary and then you're gonna press and hold this uh, nav button and you're supposed to get the extra mode which you didn't have before so then we're gonna take uh, our lightning cable you're gonna take any lightning cable that transfers data and plug it into the USB connection which we wired earlier you're gonna plug in your iPhone you just gotta make sure that Apple CarPlay comes on and then you can test that the touchscreen is working and then we're just gonna set, check the sound so the sound is playing so everything is working properly at this point we're gonna start to reassemble everything back so now we're gonna put the four bolts two on each side that hold the LCD back so now we're gonna put these two bolts back now the side buttons can go back so you're gonna connect them and put them in and again there's four bol bolts total two on each side that hold them in so now you can put this bracket back and again there's 
two bolts on each side that hold it in. So now we're gonna do the trim piece on the passenger side. You gotta make sure that here this corner clears. So now we're gonna do the driver's side, same thing. You first do it towards the stereo and push it all the way in. And then you can clip it down. So now we're gonna put this dashboard piece back. We're gonna start closer to the driver. So now we're gonna put this dashboard piece back. We're gonna start closer to the driver. You're gonna line up these uh, two long pins around the stereo. So then the bottom has clipped in and then you're just gonna do the top. So at the back here, you're gonna take the silver piece and mount it from the top and then you're gonna push it towards the front of the car. Then you can put this panel back. Now we're gonna put back the two eight millimeter bolts. And the last one is this uh, rubber tray here. So that's it, the installation is complete. You can see we have CarPlay showing on our screen. And again, this was a video for GTA Car Kits in a 2015 Range Rover Sport. I hope you liked the video and we'll see you next time.